I'm in a good mood, but I have a little bit of a rant. Okay. Go it's for a it. Sad rant. Okay. See, we don't usually put up Christmas lights. Um, it's not that we're not in the Christmas spirit. It's that we're lazy. But this year, at your I house. To, at our house. house. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do something special and festive, and something meaningful to me and my family. So in New Mexico, people put up luminarias or farolitos. Uh, mm -hmm. Depending on who you are, you call them different things, but same thing. So this is what they look like right here. It's basically a brown paper bag with sand in it and candles in it. Oh, and you light and your like right, your you walkway. Light, right, exactly. Anyway, so they, they're a big deal in New Mexico culture and I always think that they are so beautiful. So my family mm. went out, bought all the supplies, made them a couple days ago and put them out. We were so proud of our work until we walked out of our house this morning <gasps> to see this right here. Yeah, someone what? has smashed our luminarias. Did uh, you decorate the bags and everything? No, we didn't decorate the bags. That oh, it looked like a design there. Sand, yeah. That's, that's somebody's footprint. The sand, that, like the white stuff is the sand that was inside. But yeah, somebody just kind of came around and smashed our luminarias. So that's Merry terrible. Christmas. Thank terrible. you very much. Mm -hmm. That is awful. I hate to see that. I am very sorry that, that happened. I know It's like it. the porch pirates that are hitting our the houses. The darn porch pirates. Yes. Why do people gotta yes. like, ruin this is the holiday to, season? Exactly. This is mm -hmm. supposed to be a lovely time of year mm -hmm. where everything's beautiful. Right. And we're all in good moods. Right. And people are coming around and ruining Just it. Smashing it. Ruining dreams. <laughs> It's so mean. <laughs> yeah, I know. It it's made terrible. Us so sad. So are you gonna put them back out? Well, we like fluffed them up again. Yeah. But I mean, they don't really look the same. They just look all sad. sad. So. But I guess at night you wouldn't. We wouldn't notice. I guess not. That's really sad. I'm so, sorry. I'm sure so tonight. Don't do that. They'll all be smashed or missing. Thanks a lot, people. So that's my rant. All right. I'm still in the Christmas spirit, but it was very sad. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, have you seen the show, How It's Made? I think so. It's so cool. I think so. Yeah. What, it um, is really cool. When's it on? I don't even... I don't know when it's on, okay. but it's on Discovery Channel. Okay. But I've, I've only watched it, like, online, because mm -hmm. you can't help it. Like, you're... It's just, they take the most interesting things and show you how it's made, and you're like, this is amazing. Yeah, cool. So, well, film crews for the popular documentary style show made a stop here in our area. They'll be featuring a local candle manufacturing company in the upcoming season. Cool. Following the process of making and pouring candles from beginning to end. Film crews spent more than 12 hours at the Corona candle plant on Friday filming each step of the process from how the wicks are put in place and the wax is melted to the way materials are poured into the candles and how the cups move through the system. Being featured on the upcoming season of the Discovery Channel's How It's Made is an opportunity that many employees say they never expected but were excited to hear about. For us as a company, the New River Valley being able to be showcased on a national television show is very exciting for Corona Candles. The employees here are very excited. We're very proud of what we do and it's a great opportunity for us as a company. So they say it's a great chance to put the New River Valley and their company on the map. Now that filming is complete, the segment will still need to be scripted and put together. So no official air date yet, but we'll keep you updated. It is so cool. It's like addicting to watch. Yeah, I because, bet. I mean, it, it's like when we talked about people watching that train go in the beautiful, and you just can't look away because it's just so incredible to see yeah. things being made. Right, I know. And because I use those little tea lights there. all the time yeah. in everything. Yeah. yeah. So that is, that is kind of neat to watch it and how it's and made. And it's cool that it's local. Yeah. All right. We'll be looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. All right. If you plan to shop this weekend, prepare for a crowd. Okay. That goes without saying. Millions of holiday shoppers will be rushing to meet their <laughs> deadlines. It's getting down the wire, folks. And According to the National Retail Federation's latest survey, 53% of people plan to shop this Saturday known as Super Saturday. Oh. I will be one of them, by the way. Yes. <laughs> That's 126 million people planning to brave the crowds at stores to finally get their shopping list completed. 6% of people say they'll be shopping on Sunday, which mm -hmm. is Chris Christmas Eve. I love shopping on Christmas Eve. Yeah. And 5% say that the, the final gifts won't be purchased until after Christmas, <laughs> which is something that I tried to talk my husband into. Oh, we're doing it this year. Are you? Yes. Yeah, I tell my husband, I was like, you know what, for our gifts, you know, don't yes. buy me anything. 
let's wait till after Christmas for the sales. That's what that is literally what Topher and I are doing. Yes. I don't think it's for the sales. I think it's because we're like, well, we're running out of time and we still have to get <laughs> stuff for everybody else. Let's just wait for each other. Yeah, why so, not? Yeah. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Well, if you're looking for a last minute housewarming gift this holiday season, be sure to check out the Roanoke Landmark Ornaments from the Virginia Ornament Company. These Roanoke Landmark Ornaments are perfect for decorating your tree, give as gifts or even display in your home. The Mill Mountain Star Ornament celebrates Roanoke's biggest, most famous feature. The Dr. Pepper sign is also memorialized in this collection of quality ornaments. All products are proudly made in the USA, and these ornaments are available locally at Two and a Half Sisters on Colonial Avenue, across from Tower Shopping Center. You can also order yours online right now by visiting virginiaornamentco.com or give them a call 774-6266. And new this year is the new Amtrak Roanoke Station, mm -hmm. so be sure to get yours today. Yes, very cool. Mm -hmm.